Sales managers are really entitled. A lot of them are, okay? This is why businesses can't grow. This is why businesses can't scale. This is why so many companies are not growing right now. And so number one, everybody that's gonna be tuning in, we're gonna be calling dealerships live, okay? We're gonna be doing some sales testing today. I was sitting there this morning, I actually listened to a couple phone calls and I was like, dude, this is garbage. Like we're in an industry right now where sales is at an all time low. So we're gonna test some people, we're gonna listen to them live. I'm gonna put the sucker on speakerphone. Let's kick some ass. Let's have some fun. Let's see what's, let's see what's cracking lacking. So if you follow me, you know that I train salespeople for a living. I train entrepreneurs, you know, companies that wanna be great. But what I see is that customer service is at an all time low. If you get. The person at extension, eight, nine. See, number one, dude, rule number one if you got a business, if you have a business, you gotta make sure that your phone works, okay? So I know that shouldn't even be a part of the training, but our world right now seems to be missing even the little things. This is a phone number that's on a website, okay? And clearly it's ringing. By the way, somebody should be answering this phone within the first two, two rings, three rings max. Thank you for calling. Hey, Sheila, how may I help you? Yeah, Sheila, I was calling to get some information on a pre-owned vehicle. Oh, okay. Um, give me just a moment here and let me see what I can do for you. Uh, what vehicle are you looking at? I'm looking for a 2019 BMW. Okay, what's that stock number? It's K3H. Give now, me just a moment, okay? No one's got my name. Okay, and by the way, if she was a receptionist, right, I hope that the salesperson doesn't pick up the phone and ask the same question again. Look, dude, I see companies all the time literally operating like amateurs everywhere. And if you wanna make money, there's buckets of cash everywhere. But the customer experience, if everybody wants to take notes while I train today, the customer experience is number one. One bad transaction, one bad transaction with a company, they'll go to your competition. So if she was a receptionist, she didn't get my name. She asked me for information. There's another level. She should have said, hope you have the, be the best day of your life. You know, this is Carrie. How can I help you? Yeah, I was calling to get some information on this BMW. Okay, so Who do I have the pleasure of speaking right now is away from their desk. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them give you a quick call back. I'm actually going to pull somebody um, away really quickly. Can I get your first and last name? Yeah, my name is Andy. Um, but I'm at another dealership, so I'll probably just buy this one. I just wanted to call and check on something. The vehicle that I called on. I understand. Uh, what, are, uh, what about the vehicle? Are you needing? Well, can you help me? I could possibly help you. Yes. Uh, what and what and what is your best price? Let me go ahead and pull this up here. Now, here's what I'll tell you: is that everywhere in the world, right? This person has someone who's in charge of them. The the person who's in charge of her should have trained her, right? That when she reaches out to someone, or when somebody reaches out to her. Okay, I saw it on the internet for twenty two nine forty three. Um, what's your best price? I can actually get with my sales manager. I'm not authorized um, as far as giving anything out other than what's listed online, but I could absolutely get one of my sales managers to give you a call back immediately. Um, um, can I hold and you I just get one on the phone? Picture. Yep, just a moment. I love sales managers. This couldn't work out any better. Now listen, I'm going to tell you something real quick before this guy gets on here. Sales managers are really entitled. A lot of them are, okay? So, and by the way, a lot of them had skill at some point to get them where they're at, but then they lose that skill. And I wanna tell you this, I've been on hold a lot. I'm trying to get information. It's literally been two minutes of your time that they've wasted my time, they've wasted your time. This is why businesses can't grow. This is why businesses can't scale. I bet this company at the end of each month says, man, we wanna make more money. You know, why aren't we making more money? Why aren't we selling more cars? This is the reason why, okay? I could call any company, but this is the number one reason why. It's because they're not prepared. They don't have the infrastructure to, go, to, to grow. They don't have the infrastructure to sell, okay? This is why so many companies are not growing right now. And by the way, what happened truly, I'm gonna share everybody with this. The last two years, the market was really good. And since it was good, a lot of people didn't have to be great. And when the market was three times better than it's ever been, a lot of people made more money than they've ever made. And now that the market's corrected, a lot of people don't have the skill that they think they need to have. Let's test this old manager. Super important guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, 
Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. If he'll answer. Sales desk, this is Peter. Peter, how you doing? It's Andy. Andy, how are you? Good. I was just calling to get uh, a little bit of information on a 2019 BMW. Okay, one second. Now, Peter could sound like he likes his job, but I'm not going to ask him. Andy, uh, don't you uh, run seminars or, uh, or have uh, like car shows? Nope. Okay, this isn't the Andy Elliott? Nope. Okay, I got you, I got you confused with somebody else then. Um, so you're calling regarding this, uh, it looks like a... Um, I'm going to use a fake name from here on out. 2019 X1, 28 uh, IX? Yes. 66,000 miles on it? What's the question? Um, what's your best price? Our best price is on our website, 22,344. Okay, can I get a better deal? You're, if you come in and you drive the car and you see the car, I'd be willing to discuss numbers, but you haven't seen the car, you haven't driven the car, you're asking me to lower the price on a car you haven't even taken the time to see or drive. Okay, yeah, well, we're just about to, to purchase one across town, so I just wanted to see what would be your best deal. I drove three of them. Okay. Okay, I'd be, I'd be more than happy to earn your guys' business. I do want your business, but I'm not going to lower the price on a car that you haven't even seen yet. Okay, well, we've driven three of them, so we'll, we'll just stay here. We appreciate you. You haven't driven this one. Right. If you want to come in and drive it and see it, I'll definitely work with you on the price, but I'm not going to lower the price if you're not here ready to buy. Okay, well, we buy most of our vehicles on the Internet, and... Um, Everybody's always giving us a deal on the phone. It's 2024. So um, I appreciate that. But if you, can, if you can let me know what you can sell it to me for, then I can talk to my wife. And then I'll let you know. But if not, and you can't do anything for us, then we'll just choose the one at the dealership. I can, definitely, I can definitely do something for you guys. But the intention is for me to sell you a car, not make it easy for someone else to sell you a car. Um, I can't sell you a car over the phone that you haven't even seen or driven. So you don't see the value in this car. You don't know the condition of it. You don't know the features, the options. Uh, if you're willing to take the time that you gave to everybody else and come in and see and drive this car, I'd be happy to work on the price with you and save you some money and make it worth your time. But the intention is for me to sell you a car, not just give pricing over the phone. Well, your intention would be to help me as a customer. That'd be number one. And uh, I just, I want some information on the phone. The era is that I can find all the information about your car on the website and I see every option, every feature and everything about your car on the website. And then obviously okay. you guys are a reputable company, so I'm guessing the car's in good shape. So I'm just, I'm taking that for your, for your word that on your dealership, uh, Google reviews, they were good. So I'm guessing that's right. Now I just want to know what would be your best price? If you want my best price, come in, meet with us in person, sit down, okay. and I promise we'll, we'll make it worth your while. Okay. Well, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it too, Andy. Thank okay. you. Bye. Okay. So I want to explain something to you. Okay. Um, Patrick Bet David is a really good mentor of mine. Okay, I love Patrick Bed David, right? Like, guys, Patrick Bed David is great. He says five years ago, you had to learn one or two new skills every five years, right? Because t things were developing super slow. Now, in the next 18 months, you'll probably have to develop 18 new skills. Now, one of the new skills is that customers can get everything they want right now on the internet. They don't need human beings but they need someone to treat them nice. They need someone to understand them. Hey, Andy, obviously, at the company that you're at right now and the car that you're looking at, if it was the right vehicle, you probably wouldn't have bought it and you wouldn't have called us. Would you agree? Right, so the fact that I'm getting the opportunity to take a phone call from you, you probably have something like a gut instinct that this isn't the right car you should be buying because you're continuing to search. The fact that you're feeling that feeling, whether you buy from me or anyone else, that doesn't matter. I would tell you, use your intuition. You haven't pulled the trigger yet. Don't do it because you're second guessing yourself. This is what I would like to invite you to do.
is that if you came in, you drove my car, you loved it, everything was right on it, there would probably be a dollar figure, a dollar amount in which I probably could earn your business if you love the vehicle that much. Would you agree? Okay, here's what I want to do. I'm the, I'm the sales manager. I'm not a salesperson, I'm the sales manager. If you guys will drive over to the store, you'll come and grab the keys, you guys will check it out, I'll have no one else talk to you, you guys take your time with the car. When you're done, I'll allow you guys to make me an offer. We'll sit down together, and in the end, it's your decision. Look, I just wanna treat you guys the way I wanna be treated. And I wanna tell you, I buy stuff all the time, and I know that if it was the right vehicle that you're looking at right now, you'd have already bought it, and you wouldn't have called me. But the fact that you called me, something's wrong, something's not right, something doesn't feel right, and obviously the vehicle that you called me about, you're feeling that something is drawing you towards this. I know that you don't buy the vehicle just because of money, you buy the vehicle because of value. Because you put value in your driveway, you drive value every day, you don't drive a price tag. Listen, bottom line is, I've never, I've never missed a customer over price and we're not gonna start today. See, what he could have done is he could have changed his state. If you'll notice, this manager was on the defense. Don't ever go on the defense, okay? When someone's asking for something, lean into it, okay? Show them more love. Look, match their state. When I'm concerned, the last thing you can do is show concern. You gotta show no concern. Hey Andy, we've never missed a customer on price and we're not gonna start today, okay? But the, hey, you need to come in, you need to come in, just say, hey, if I took 500 off of it, would you say yes? What if I took 2,000 off of it, would you say yes? At the end of the day, before you write a check for any amount or finance it, you're still gonna need to drive it. Here's what I'll tell you. I've never missed someone over price, I'm not gonna start today. He should have told me, I'm not a salesman, Andy. I know you're probably dealing with the salesman in another dealership right now, but you're not dealing one with me right now. I run this store. I have something called authority. I have the authority to say yes, and I'm telling you yes on the phone right now that I want to make a deal with you. I love the fact that you called me, and I love the fact that you have the intuition that if this deal doesn't feel right where you're currently at, that you can make a call to somewhere else, and that's how we met. People need to learn the ability and the skill to communicate. Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true point zero, 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 one percenters. Look, I know one percenters, it can make it halfway through the video, but make it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I wanna get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I wanna roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link, it says coach with me one-on-one, -on -one, okay? If you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast, and I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below, click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.